we want to solve the exponential equation, and we're asked to give the answer in exact form, as well as rounded to three decimal places. So we want to solve the exponential equation e raised to the power of negative 7x equals 11.3. Because the exponential part is already isolated, we could solve this by taking the natural log of both sides of the equation or by applying the definition of a logarithm and write the equivalent log equation. For this example, we'll be applying the definition of a logarithm shown here. Where these two equations are equivalent, then we'll use this definition to write the exponential equation as a log equation where b is the base, a is the exponent, and n is the number. So writing the equivalent log equation, we know we'll have a logarithm. We'll also have an equal sign. Let's begin by identifying the base. Well, the base is e, so we have log base e, but is actually natural log, so we'll change the notation in the next step. The logarithm is an exponent, the exponent is negative 7x, so the logarithm is equal to negative 7x. And the exponential is equal to the number 11.3, and therefore we have log base e of 11.3 equals negative 7x. And for one last check, if we were to go from the log equation to the exponential equation, we start with the base and work around the equal sign, we would have e raised to the power of negative 7x equals 11.3. So our log equation is correct. Let's go ahead and replace log base e with natural log. So our equation is natural log 11.3 equals negative 7x. And now we can easily solve for x by dividing both sides by negative 7. Simplifying, we have x equals. We can leave this as a quotient or we could also write this as negative one-seventh natural log 11.3. Dividing by negative seven is the same as multiplying by negative one-seventh. So our exact solution is x equals negative one-seventh natural log 11.3. So this is what we enter in our first answer cell. And now let's round this value to three decimal places. So using the calculator, We'll enter negative one divided by seven, natural log 11.3 to three decimal places. Our solution is approximately negative 0.346. Let's verify our solution is correct by substituting this value into the equation and make sure it satisfies the equation. So beginning with e raised to the power of negative seven x equals 11.3, we'll perform the substitution for x. So we would have e raised to the power of negative seven times negative one seventh natural log 11.3 equals 11.3. Looking at the exponent, notice how we have negative seven times negative one seventh, which is one. So this would be e raised to the power of natural log of 11.3 equals 11.3. Now if we know our properties of logarithms, we should recognize it on the left side because we have base e here raised the power of log base e, or natural log, this simplifies perfectly to 11.3. So this verifies our solution is correct, but let's also verify it on the calculator. Let's enter the left side of the equation here to make sure this is equal to 11.3. So if we press second natural log, that brings up e raised to the power of, and we enter negative seven, then in parentheses, we have negative one divided by seven, natural log 11.3, close parenthesis for the natural log, and close parenthesis for the product, and enter. And notice how we do get 11.3, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.